Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The focus of the government is to uplift the weakest section of the society, but there are a lot of people deprived of the benefits of the government schemes. A tea garden worker, Renu Bhuyan, age 51, working at Shanti Tea Estate, situated in Dulyajan in Dibrugarh, Lok Sabha constituency, said that she has not received any benefits from any of the welfare schemes from the government. Renu expressed her dissatisfaction for not getting any welfare scheme from the government. She is the resident of Kola Line and works as a daily wage earner for plucking tea leaves. Bharti Shotal, age 35, also stated the same was that she did not receive any benefits from the government scheme. Two members of the Kasi Students' Union, KSU, were arrested for their alleged involvement in the recent murder of two labourers at Ichamati in East Kasi Hills. The doers were picked up from their respective residence on Monday night. The two arrested persons have been identified as Shambor Shati, age 26, and Meshadap Sopen, and both are members of the KSU South Kasi Hills district. The doers have been taken to Sadar Police Station and will be produced before the court. On March 27, two persons were allegedly beaten to death by miscreants at Ichamati. They have been identified as late Esan Singh and late Sujit Datta. Both are labourers working in limestone quarries. Their bodies were found at Ichamati and Dalda respectively. USTM has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Microbiologist Society India MBSI on Tuesday. MBSI has conferred Lifetime Devotion Award to Professor G.D. Sharma, Vice-Chancellor of the University of Science and Technology Meghalaya, USTM, during the two-day conference on National Conference on Bioresource and Sustainability current trends and future prospects. The conference was organized by the Department of Applied Biology, USTM, in association with the MBSI. Two books were also released during the inaugural session of the conference. The dignitaries present for the inaugural session of the conference included Professor A.M. Deshmukh, President Microbiologist Society India, MBSI, Professor Kali Muthusani, Nataraja Sinavasan, Director ICMR Regional and Medical Research Center, Northeast Dibrugar, Professor Bikash Medhi, Professor, Department of Pharmacology, PGIMER, Chandigarh, Professor G.D. Sharma, Vice-Chancellor, USTM, Dr. R.K. Sharma, Advisor, USTM, among others. Two Khasi Students' Union KSU members arrested in connection with the deaths of two non-tribals at Ichamati have been remanded to police custody for seven days for questioning by the District and Session Court East Khasi Hills on Tuesday. The two accused identified as Shabor Langshati, age 26, arrested from Wa Utim, and Mesa Dabbor Skembel, age 26, arrested from Saitsop and Sora, were allegedly involved in the incident. On March 27, two persons were allegedly beaten to death by miscreants at Ichamati. They have been identified as late Isan. Singh and late Sujit Datta, both labourers working in limestone quarries. Their bodies were found at Ichamati and Dalda respectively. According to the FIR filed by family members of the deceased victims, the incident took place during an anti-CAA protest in Ichamati. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Preston Tinsong on Tuesday said that the government is still inviting the prescribed Hinyotrep National Liberation Council HNLC to come back for peace talks. On the recent IED blast by the HNLC, the Deputy CM said that investigation into the matter is ongoing. National People's Party NPP State President and Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tinsong on Tuesday said the party is taking all its opponents as a threat. He, however, said that the party leaders and workers are working hard to ensure victory of the party's candidate. Stating that many people have joined the party ahead of Lok Sabha polls, Tinsong said that they have just come back from Jawai, also where quite a number of leaders join us today and not only in Jawai here itself, thinking the working president has already welcomed the NPP. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kubleshibon Mitela. Hub